Ja'Kerry Richardson, an American track and field athlete, has stunned the globe with the wildest move ever. What exactly did she do? Let's find out. Before we begin, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now let's get started. Ja'Kerry Richardson was removed from an American Airlines aircraft on Saturday after an incident with a flight attendant. The flight attendant, whom Richardson named John, allegedly mistreated her as she was conversing on her phone before takeoff. She filmed herself in her seat before panning to the flight attendant. Prior to the video, this gentleman requested that I end a mobile phone conversation, which I did, Richardson captioned one of her videos. She alleged she told him she didn't appreciate his tone with her. He then continued to lean over to check her phone while standing in front of her executing the safety routines. He inquired whether her phone was in airplane mode at this time. Furthermore, he then asked her to show him, and she did right in front of him. It's unclear where Richardson was going or coming from, but she stated that she was on vacation. In her video, she continued to dispute with the flight attendant, and after being caught on camera, he retreated behind a curtain. Richardson spoke animatedly to the flight attendant after she was asked to cease recording. The flight attendant's initial remarks to Richardson were not captured on tape, so in a way, it's difficult to really know if the attendant was initially rude to her or if she was just being sassy to the attendant who was simply doing his job. I'm recording myself, but you jumped in my video, so I caught you, Richardson said to the flight attendant. At this point, I believe you should quit bothering me. I believe you should pause. Several passengers can then be heard becoming irritated with Richardson and ordering her to quit arguing with the flight attendant. But from the video, which captured more of the argument halfway, we see Richardson making statements like, Did you see him? You see him, don't you? You see him, don't you? I'm sorry, but it's not me. Speak with him. No, sir. Do not speak to me in that manner. I'm a grown-up. Do not address me in this manner. Do not address me in this manner. Please tell him to stop. Do not holler at me if you have no idea what's going on. But the problem is that it was no longer limited to the flight attendant. She also claimed she was insulted by several individuals on board after getting into another dispute with a different passenger. Another passenger was heard telling her that because of the unnecessary drama she has caused, she would be missing her connecting flight. But Richardson could hardly care about anyone other than herself. Why? Well, maybe because she's a selfish human being, or maybe because she believed other people should have stood up for her in the heat of the argument. But the issue still remains that she disturbed a lot of people's schedules, and particularly the innocent passenger who had to miss her connecting flight. She kept raging in anger, arguing with whoever spoke back at her, or even attempted to contribute to the already heated argument. But it didn't take long before the airline security swung into action and did what was necessary. Richardson was escorted off the plane. But did it end there? Nope. Instead of going to cool off, she continued to trade shouts with passengers and flight crew on her way out. In fact, the passengers were clapping as she left. While many believe Richardson was not the victim following the event that occurred, she still stood her ground in claiming she deserved an apology from the airline as a whole. To further state her displeasure, she took to social media to write a really long epistle on how she was insulted and mistreated by the airline, saying, Tell me whether I'm wrong to seek legal action against airline American Air. Not only did the man threaten me, but also an innocent bystander who only wanted a picture with me. At the beginning of the video, you can hear a Caucasian male say that as a man, the male flight attendant is intimidating a lady. Richardson wrote, Also, the captain is doing nothing to improve the issue, and this flight attendant received applause when I departed the plane. Although I'm quite serious, the contempt I received would not have occurred if I was one of them. Well, that may be true considering the fact that Richardson has been on the receiving end of a lot of controversies before this one. On the track, the controversial sprinter has struggled since testing positive for marijuana before the Tokyo Olympics in 2021. Shakari Richardson's ban sparked an international debate regarding the worldwide sports policy prohibiting Olympians from using cannabis, prompting the World Anti-Doping Agency to conduct a scientific review of the regulation, the WADA. But the runner was also publicly wondering why she was punished when Russian skater Kamila Valieva 
who helped her country to win gold, was permitted to compete despite testing positive for a banned drug. It was a valid issue since black people have historically been held to a higher and more discriminating standard, particularly when it comes to drugs. Cannabis, according to Richardson, is not a performance-enhancing substance. Trimetazidine, the doping medication Valieva tested positive for, was known to prolong activity duration and boost heart performance, effects that might have potentially helped her make the first quadruple leaps performed by a woman in an Olympic event long ago. Having said that, there are several additional functional distinctions between the scenarios. For one thing, Richardson's ban was the result of a judgment taken by the United States Anti-Doping Agency, the USADA, which operated in accordance with international athletic standards and had expressed compassion for the situation but ultimately stated that its hands were bound. Meanwhile, the Russian Anti-Drug Agency, RUSADA, briefly banned Valieva while the findings of her positive doping test were revealed. The test was done in December, hence the timelines of the information's publication is questionable. But in any event, RUSADA later removed the provisional ban, only to be challenged by WADA, the International Olympic Committee OIC, and the International Skating Union ISU. The Court of Arbitration for Sport CAS, an international organization that resolves these sorts of Olympic issues, issued a statement dismissing the arguments, allowing Valieva to continue competing. However, the IOC enforced various sanctions, such as the fact that there would be no medal ceremony for her even if she finished in the top three. While Richardson believed that race had a role in the two distinct outcomes, CAS stated that the cause was primarily because the 15-year-old skater is a juvenile and a protected person subject to a different standard under WADA code. However, the CAS judgment surprised several sport analysts in the United States. Regardless of the circumstances and current uncertainty surrounding this case, it was the latest illustration of how the combination of drugs and sports is becoming a larger issue. But this hasn't stopped Richardson. In fact, it's only made her stronger. Last year, she stated that she would feel fortunate and pleased if the attention her case received resulted in a policy change for other athletes. Even the White House and President Joe Biden chimed in on the matter, with the president questioning if the marijuana prohibition should stay the rules. Snoop Dogg, who performed at the Super Bowl halftime show and was featured in a separate ad that implicitly endorsed legalization, suggested that sports leagues should cease testing athletes for marijuana and instead allow them to use it as an alternative to prescription painkillers. As a result of her marijuana controversy, she was pulled from Team USA and did not compete in the games, and has since failed to rediscover the form that saw her set a personal best of 10.72 seconds two years earlier. Her time made her the equal seventh fastest woman of all time and the fourth fastest American woman in track and field history. To put that time in context, only two women have gone on to go faster this year. Twice Olympic gold winner, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, who recorded a time of 10.6 in August, and Tokyo 2020 100 meter Olympic champion, Elaine Thompson Hera, who established the world top time of 10.54 in August. Instead of sitting down and giving up, Richardson is still optimistic about competing in the forthcoming Olympics. She has declared her intention to compete in the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. In a recent Instagram Stories post, the American uploaded a photo marked in Paris, France, which will host the 2024 Summer Olympic Games. Paris 2024, history will be created, Richardson wrote. The sprinter's emphasis on the future, notably the Olympics, comes after a tumultuous experience she's had both on and off the track. Do you think Shakari Richardson was right for how she acted? Share your thoughts in the comments below.